Welcome to Haast, and we're on another excellent adventure. Going to fly into the hills there. Might get a bit of rain. We're going to get lots of sand flies, so we're going to uh, mouldy up some homemade insect repellent, and as well as the the normal detol and baby oil mixture, a uh, gentle baby oil. That's quite important. I'm going to add some of this Ocarito sand fly repellent as well, which has citronella oil and sweet almond oil. And the reason I'm making my own insect repellent is because this homemade stuff is DEET free and DEET's really bloody carcinogenic so I thought I'd chuck some of that sweet almond oil and citronella oil in as well as the normal mix to make it a bit more potent and make it smell a bit nicer because this dead old baby oil mix doesn't smell too good. There we go. We'll shake that shit up and see if it works. How's it smell? Oh, it smells good. Yeah. <coughs> Whew. James is a wee bit concerned because we've eaten too many pies. But, uh, I did, I did eat too many pies from Sheffield, actually. Oh, uh, the old Sheffield pie. That's a good thing. It doesn't happen very often in New Zealand bush, eh? Such a pain that she's away. that I wasn't recording. I want to get to meet such wonderful boys. Yeah, just missed a bit of a private joke there. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out uh, Kyle's shagging Scott's sister. <laughs> but that's right, he was shagging his sister before they met and that's how they met so it's quite a romantic story really. <laughs> well, you, you going to go sticky? Oh, don't spill it. Look at that. <laughs> Look at her, keep going, keep going. Don't She's spill that on, pasta. On My old lady was stuff. slaving away till 10 o'clock making that sauce last night. <laughs> so it's pretty magical, pretty uh, majestic looking down there. It is, isn't it? What do you reckon, Scott? Pass your seal of approval? It's bloody good. Yep, bloody good. In straight away. There's another shot in there. Yeah. <laughs> well, we've just heard a couple of gunshots from downstream. Two boys went downstream. Two, that's three gunshots from downstream. I don't know what they're doing. Maybe they shot it in the ass and it's running away and they're chasing after it, firing as they run. But hopefully they come back with a bloody animal after <laughs> three shots. And uh, back upstream there where the other boys went, it's been pretty quiet, but the wind has been blowing steadily upstream. That's uh, the fourth gunshot just went off right then, echoing through the valley. That was gunshot number eight that just went off. <laughs> that was number nine. Um, let's see if they're doing number ten soon. Surely not. Nine gunshots. It's about 15, 20 minutes after the first barrage and that was shot number ten. Uh, I hope they haven't shot ten deer because I'm going to be rowing the gear off tomorrow and it's going to be one heavy gear raft. We might have to just get the boys to walk down and uh, load the deer onto the raft. I think that's going to be the plan. There's no way they shot 10 deer. I reckon they legged one or two and then they were chasing them down, slowly shooting at them and through the trees. I kind of thought they'd be walking back now but uh, they still, still haven't gutted the animal if we just heard another shot. Meanwhile there's been no shots from upstream. They might not even have heard the shots if they're going up the side creek. It's just getting on dust now. 
I'm kind of half expecting to see a deer walk out around here somewhere. I haven't seen one yet. How's it going, lads? You're not bad, eh? So I guess those ten shots didn't come from you, eh? No, we no. Did you hear them all? Yeah, I heard yeah, them all. Fucking World War Three, yeah. Well, they better got some. <laughs> I reckon. They're gonna get some shit, mate. We counted ten shots all up, eh? Over the space of about ten minutes, I guess. Yeah, I heard we heard about five, eh? Yeah. Shall I tell you what? We're not going to be happy if they don't bring something back. Oh, here we go. It's proper camping, eh, bro? Oh, good. <laughs> How'd you go, boys? Bit too trigger happy. Ran out of ammo. Got four dead, eh? You got four? <laughs> Shit the bed. Did you really? You, there's yeah. four animals on the ground. Yeah, We've got gutted two of them, but we're going to go back and get another two after a beer. So, what? They were all fired out of yours? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay then. Ah, because yeah, we thought it was two rifles. Yeah, it we, sounded like there was two different shots. Well, I know, um, well, a couple shots from yours. A couple shots from mine. Yeah. Did you hit anything? There's just no point. Yeah, I blew the leg out of the spot. <laughs> <laughs> Wing him first, down, day. Eh? Too much duck slow, shooting, slow mate. Slowed him down at least. Slowed yeah, him down enough to bush. get yeah, onto him. Chase two of them down. Oh, did it lead your merry chase through the bush? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah two of them in the bush. Yeah. Get sponsorship there? Oh, maybe, yeah, let it rip. <laughs> <laughs> Don't drink beer. Blood on the old fucking hour but uh, I'm gonna go crawl back through the river again though. Mm. <laughs> you would creep around, eh? And you're just like, shh, shh, shh. Yeah. Seen the tiger's head out through the bushes. Sweet. <laughs> Cheer, bro. There you go. Yeah, that's a, that's a spirit. There we go. Nice. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Come back here. A bloody good day is going to be had by all, I hope. We've already got four animals on the ground. The sun's about to come over the hill. And the forecast was for rain, eh? Bloody hell. They don't know what they're talking about, these weather boys. Um, no deer <laughs> shot up the far end of the clearing because the wind was blowing right up that way. But uh, there's plenty of sign here. We've got three deer hearts and some bacon and eggs and stuff. And we're away. And some delicious socks. Sausage. We also have a bit of kiwiana in there, some that's good old deer heart. Deer heart, that's just mixing it up a bit. Is this your first deer, first deer heart? First deer heart, yeah. Have a taste, let me know what you reckon. Mmm. Good. <laughs> it's like tender steak, isn't it? It's like a steak, yeah. Steak. Exactly what it tastes like. Jeez, these boys are lucky, eh? We bought some, some uh, poos paper up for them instead of making them use moss. <laughs> we figured we were going to be camping on this campsite here and the mossy forest is quite a way away, so they get to hide a poo under a log or something. <laughs> Always leaves me waiting by the phone <laughs> Told him more than once to take it slow And I said okay But lately I've been sleeping all alone Oh, oh baby it's how your body moves I What just the f*** is going on? Know. Good shit maybe boys Now we're going to have to put so these things on the raft I'm not too sure how yeah, we're going to do that, I guess we'll just time on because chances are we're going to shoot a couple more this evening or tomorrow we might have to get the helicopter back in here I think we'll lift them out see if Greg will give us some mates right on the back road or something like I got the master plan night on the town oh drinking, dancing we can turn it out oh I'm not breaking up inside how much to die much water in today still Late winter, early spring, for snow, and really starting to go. Maybe it's because you move so slow. Just make 
take the bikes down this road. Straight in. You rock. Yeah, she's not looking good. Down the broadside under the rock. Oh, here they go. Gonna run down this drop there. Yeah, no worries. Uh, smooth sailing so far, so good. Uh, straight over that one. Oh, stuck on another rock. So I'm thinking with my team of the hand. Oh, oh, yeah, come on down. Well, here they go, they're gonna peel out. Like oh, no worries, mate. Drink it, dance, and we can't turn it out. Oh, I'm not breaking up inside. I'm much too proud to moan. But baby, please come Shake home. Yeah, baby, it's just you move. So slow. Maybe it's cause you move so slow. Hey, move it nice and slow. Move it nice and slow. Oh, so close. Slow ride. Ooh, slow ride. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers, cheers. Well, it's that time of the night. The boys are heading off for a shoot, and uh, these fellas are going to go across the river and uh, go downstream to Spot X, and we're going to go down to Spot X down here which may or may not be Spot X, we'll see about that. <laughs> not that it matters, because we've already got four deer. Don't, we can really we can shoot two more before we hit our quota. We can't really take them out on the raft after that many. And uh, Rob's going to come for a bit of a nosy too. We're going to be telling him to be quiet the whole way probably. That's what usually happens when we take a rocky hunting. <laughs> Stop making noise. We should make them wear bare feet, but I don't think we will. Yeah. We'll be right. So we come out uh, onto the clearing here, we walk around the back and we spooked the yearling that legged it and stopped right on the bush edge but Reese couldn't see it, he was looking about four metres to the left of where it was and it was just looking right at us and then phew, it gone before he could get the crosshairs on it. We come all the way out here and around the back end but didn't see any more deer. There's not many shit, not many shits, not much shit on the clearings so they haven't really hit the grass yet and as you can see it hasn't really started growing, it's just short and Oh, oops. Hey, you see that? There we go. Okay. But, uh, you still rolling? Yep. A bit of luck, we, my, my uh, light guy just dropped his light on the ground. <laughs> bit of luck, we might be able to get a possum on the way back for old Rob. Rob hasn't, still hasn't met uh, Mr. Possum yet, Percy the Possum, so we'll, uh, we'll show him how we catch the possums here in New Zealand. We might actually get him to chase it down and catch it. It'll be a good experience for him. Pretty safe seeing as the possums don't bite on the west coast. So, uh, boys over there were just saying there's a reason that you can't drink bourbon. Yeah, you do oh, mind spirits, sharing? spirits. Oh, all sp around. spirits all around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I have one friend that makes homebrews, so that sort of means it's always on our lap. But uh, Is that you Alan? weren't a part of it that night, actually, were you? The no. final frontier. No, not at that time. No, I was with Jeffro. Yeah. We drank a bottle of uh, Jameson's, and then. He doesn't remember opening the bottle of Oak Heart, I remember that. He woke up while I was fire. I woke up in bed, remembering throwing up, and that's about it. Doing the big, like that, and spraying it here. That's about all I remember. But, uh, yeah, uh, my parents had to come round, because uh, I got up, spewed, ran to the toilet, and was spewing in the toilet, but uh, exiting out of almost every hole that could be possible. <laughs> 
And uh, the missus noticed because there was water covered out under the toilet door. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> and uh, I'd shit all down my thighs and in my heels and shit, you know. Like, I mean, you're in that position, so it's, you know. Has this happened several times, has it? No, 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 it was just the once. It was right. just the final. And hey. that was it, that you haven't drunk, you haven't got hammered on spirits since? I haven't got hammered, but I'm allowed on the hunting trips to have spirits because it's not her problem, I suppose. Oh, right, right. But it's not like it happens all the time. It was just, I think the easiest option is to just say, well, that's that, then, isn't it? Reese, hook us that bottle of bourbon over, bro. Let's <laughs> <laughs> and no deer tonight, eh? No, no deer tonight. Yeah. We seen one, but we didn't manage to shoot it. I think they were following us. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> there's right? yeah. sign on the track. Yeah, yeah saw a sign where we'd already walked. Bloody hell, there's plenty of sign up here, isn't there? This is a uh, traditional Maori method used to catch eels. A bit of deer belly and uh, and some mates. <laughs> go grab that. Oh, he's got t-shirts. Yeah, Sweet as, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> Here's a real Māori. He's got the old uh, Pukarangi t-shirt catcher. Cool. Although that's a Tekorangi key t-shirt catcher, that one. <laughs> Check this out, Spyderco knife. It's, it's wicked. You can tend it to switchblade too. It's mean. Will involve tourists though. This is a family <laughs> show, remember Kyle? You can't, okay. Can't be <laughs> Don't <laughs> search. Oh, mm. there you go. <laughs> one, two, three. Oh, thank you. Yo, come give us a hand, you fellas. Hey. Shit. <laughs> one, two, three. <laughs> Why are we yeah, he's got a pit bull head. Oh, just for fun. Oh. <laughs> what about Reese takes that back to his tent? We could fry it up in the morning. Do you want to fry him up in the morning? Yeah, Those yeah, two ladies yeah. gone. Oh, <laughs> Where did he come from? Yeah, I'll eat a little bit of eel We won't eat this big one. We'll eat the little one if we eat them. Big ones are the breeders. Oh. Cheers, bro. Nice. Squeezing your undies out, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty sweet score here. Got a whole heap of meat because it's it's all fly blind we didn't bring any cloth bags to put it to protect it from the flies we're just going to butcher it here and get as much meat much meat off as we can before the maggots get into it because the maggots are just starting to hatch now so not ideal but it is what it is just got to be really careful when you do butcher your meat that you keep any gut juice off it and be really careful not to puncture the meat because wherever the knife punctures the meat that's where the bacteria enters so we're going to have to cut around all of this and waste quite a bit of meat now if you do happen to get a little bit of gut juice on some of the meat, you either give it a really good wash with some moss and some water or just trim around it right there when you're gutting it and keep that meat as clean as possible. Because we're, we're probably going to waste close to $150, maybe $200 worth of meat off this animal because of all the contamination there. But it's a learning curve. These boys will get better the more they shoot more deer. <laughs> I'm on the border of Bolivia, working for pennies, treated like a slave, the poker fields have to be ready, the spirit of my people is starving, broken and sweaty, dreaming about revolution, looking at my machete, but the workload is too heavy to rise up in arms, and if I ran away I know they'd probably murder my moms, so I pray to Jesucristo when I go to the mission, process the cocaine paste and play my position. Okay listen while I'm out there, just get me my product before we chop off your hands, for workers misconduct, I got the power to shoot a copper, and not 
get charged And it would be sad to see your family in front of a firing squad So to feed your kids, I need these bricks Forty tons in total, let me test it indeed I Shit, this is good, pass me a tissue And don't worry about them, I paid off the official Yo, it don't come as a challenge, I'm the son of some of the phallus Elected by my people, the only one on the ballot Born and bred to consult with feds I laugh at fate and assassinate my predecessor to have his place In a third world fashion state, lock the nation With 90% of the wealth and 10% of the population A central intelligence agency takes weight faithfully The finest type of China, white and cocaine you'll see Honey, I'm home, never mind when your bank account's suddenly grown It's funny we're so out of this debt for this money we owe with ya I told you that I had two governments overthrown To keep our son enrolled in a private school and to keep our tummy swollen